Hey everybody, um, I decided to make a quick video about um, my side effects that I'm experiencing so far since I've started my progesterone. Ooh, um, nothing really too bad. I just noticed that I've, I'm really sleepy and get a little dizzy and nauseous. So right now I'm on um, the patches. I have four patches on as of now. Um, what else? I just got off work on it's Friday and I'm having a memory block. So I have four patches on. I do progesterone um, three times a day. And today I started, um, let me get it, the doxycycline, doxycycline, whatever, um, once a day, which is these great pills right here what they look like um and then my progesterone pills they're not really big I don't know y'all can see that there you go where's the camera oh, there you go. they're not really big um so I started those and um I'm I am super sleepy like before I started this entire process, I mean, just everything, I would go to bed. I have to be, I work from 8 to 5, from Monday to Friday, 8 to 5. I would go to bed around 11, 30, 12, sometimes 1, because I'm just, you know, I like to be up at night and then, you know, I'm not a morning person. So, and I wouldn't be tired, you know, and, and now that I'm on all these pills and I don't take any shots anymore, so that's good. Um, these pills and these patches and doing this and doing that I mean I am sleepy like my body is just exhausted I'm tired I can't wait for this part to be over and I know you know um, it may get worse during pregnancy or whatever the case may be but at least I know I'll be tired because there's a baby in there not because I'm on all these dang on pills um, but anyway, so my side effects so far of all of this, um, this little FET protocol, I, I'm really nauseous and I'm really sleepy. Um, the first day I took my progesterone, I was kind of lightheaded. Um, but other than that, yeah, this morning I had a wrap for breakfast and Usually, you know, I guess with the wrap, they cut it in half and then, you know, wrap it up, whatever. So when I went back to work, I ate half. Usually I eat my entire wrap, but I ate half and I just felt real queasy. I've tried, um, what do you call it? Uh, ginger ale. And that one, it, it helped a little bit. It helped while I was drinking it, but maybe like two minutes when I was done and I put the bottle down. Um, I felt it again and my throat was hurting a little bit today but I think that's because my sinuses are draining like right here on this side so I had some um, lozenges and that actually helped I guess because I was constantly you know uh, sucking on those but um, what other side effects that's it that's pretty much it um, again I'm, I'm not one of those people so far that have, has had buddy focus my dog is crazy um, I'm not one of those people that has experienced um, like the emotional side effects and just crying all the time and all that stuff so that was that's good that's a, a real good blessing right there but anyway um, back to earlier what I was saying I, I'm used to going to bed around 11 30 12 but I can't with the with you know with my new protocol because I'm just so exhausted now I find myself going to bed around 8.39 and I'm still tired. That's crazy. Um, like right now I could really go to sleep. And it's like 5.30. I can really go to sleep. But I know if I go to sleep then I wake up around 6. Something like that in the middle. 5 or 6 in the middle of the night or whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we are on the countdown for the transfer, which is on Tuesday. What's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So we have about three days, four days. 
um, until the transfer. So, man, it's getting close. Now I'm like super nervous, excited, really not emotional like that, but you know, I'm just like, uh, like crazy all over the place. Ooh, y'all, I, if anybody have, oh, snap. So the other day I was talking to one of my husband's coworkers who went through IVF. She did it six times and nothing worked. Um, I don't want to give her, her medical background because that's not my business, um, or not my place to say. But anyway, she did it six times. It didn't work. So her best friend, who's been her best friend since preschool, decided to carry the baby for her. So she said she tried acupuncture. They did acupuncture the day before the transfer and the day after. And she also said that um, her doctor's office is starting to recommend that or require that as part of the treatment because their success rates have been extremely high for FETs and acupuncture or even um, yeah for FETs and acupuncture so we're thinking about doing that on Monday acupuncture on Monday transfer on Tuesday acupuncture on Wednesday um, I mean it can't hurt basically all it's doing is calming your nerves because even though some people say, oh, no, I'm not stressed, I'm too weak, wait, da, da, da. sometimes your body may send off, um, what do they call it, like a nervous six signals and stress signals or whatever, and your blood probably isn't flowing how it's supposed to be, and, you know, just, I guess, all types of um, science behind it, whatever, and basically what the acupuncture is doing is just naturally relaxing your body. If, I mean, if anybody tried this, um, let me know if you tried it with success let me know if you tried it and it was still unsuccessful let me know um, or just acupuncture in general maybe from a back pain or just because you want to do it whatever I mean does it hurt any type of advice of acupuncture um, is helpful so that's what we're going to do that's what we're leaning toward we're going to do a little bit more research probably tomorrow when you know we're sitting around on Saturday not doing much. Um, so, what else? That's about it. Um, I will keep everybody updated on how the transfer goes. On Tuesday, I will be doing the video uh, doing a video after my transfer. Let you guys know how it went, um, how I'm feeling, and that kind of stuff. So, that's about it. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.